Good morning, Magandang, Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Saturday, and it is build day, uh, I think it's build day 343. Well, I had to kind of move out of the wind area. It's actually a breezy day today. Do you see the breeze going through the mahogany trees over there, and the palms, and the bamboo over there? Uh, so, in case the other part of my intro had so too much wind, I'm going to do this one here. Uh, like I was saying in the the uh, edited version, that we are going to have a productive day here today. I requested that the Ironworks people uh, focus, make a priority instead of worrying about the the stairs on the inside. Uh, for I want them to do the the grading, uh, the framework for the grading for all the drains. Of course, when we are gone away on vacation, it's going to be the beginning of rainy season. And with that, we need to make sure that we have those grates in with the screening inside there so that we don't have flooding in the basement and we don't have debris that will clog up all of our drains while we are gone. Uh, so that is the priority uh, in my mind for today. Hopefully they'll be able to get that in. Uh, my priority for today is to work, let me get out of the wind here again. Uh, my priority for today is to work on the, uh, the very last section of the driveway down by the garage door area. So that's what I'm going to try to work on this morning. My goal is to have that all knocked out by lunchtime. Whether I can do it or not, I don't know, but I'm going to work on that uh, and do my best. So anyway, let's go ahead and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Well, believe it or not, it is the end of the day. You might not think it's the end of the day because I didn't ha hardly have any content today, but a lot of things went on here. I had to leave, I had to leave and go down. They ran out of material again today and they need the material. Tomorrow is Sunday and it's going to be, I think it's going to be a work day. Remember, we're authorized every Sunday in the month of March uh, for construction here. We have the approval of the subdivision. We have a waiver. Uh, that being said is, if they're going to be here tomorrow, they didn't have any material to do some of the things we need to have done tomorrow. Our, tomorrow's priority are these these drains, the, what they're working on up here. Let me show you what they did while I was gone. They built this frame for this drain area. The, the wind is bad. I'm trying to keep you out of the wind so it doesn't wreak havoc on, on the camera here. Uh, so what, what we're trying to do, we're trying to get all the drains in place and completed uh, so that when we go on vacation, it's all cleared out. We put some screening inside there. It doesn't get clogged up. doesn't clog up the PVC that we work so hard uh, to get all this pipe in the ground to go to the storm sewer so we get no flooding during rainy season here. So uh, that's what they should be working on tomorrow. Uh, they worked a little bit today, but not much because when I was leaving to go get the building supplies that we need for this area, uh, I picked up the concrete hollow box for this, which is going to be a planter. This is going to be the planter over here. I think I might have discussed that earlier. And those areas need walls, the small planter walls inside there. We're gonna go up about 90 centimeters. Plus the topper is gonna to look like, hey, while we're here, the topper, look at this. 
uh, we don't, haven't removed the siding right here uh, and it'll be like a T like the ledge up there it's gonna be like that but this one is going to be all of the pebble rock look at that and that's gonna go all the way around what a finish isn't that great I'm so happy about that uh, so again uh, the the planter is gonna go up 90 centimeters I'll show you the supplies that I picked up today in the back of the uh, truck right now we'll download that in the morning while I'm here uh, and I'm, we're talking about what got accomplished today. What One of the things I did today was this. Look at all of my driveway. <laughs> that That's what I did all morning and up to the time I went shopping to go get the, uh, the building supplies. But I have this area. It still needs sand. When it gets sand, it's gonna look like that area up there. That area still needs uh, vibrating, compacting. Uh, part of the top still needs compacting and we need compacting here. I can't do that until my builder drops off another load of sand. We don't have enough sand. He didn't he didn't order enough. Uh, we need, oh, I'm going to say about half the amount from the truckload that he had delivered on the other side of the wall over there that I used for putting this down today. Uh, I did this in about mm, four, about four and a half hours is what it took me to do this entire. That includes uh, putting the sand down that includes compacting the sand and installing hand by hand piece by piece did I say hand by hand I meant piece by piece uh, each one of the the uh, grass blocks inside here so I'm proud of myself for that uh, but that was a lot of work and I'm going to be sore tomorrow because I did that yesterday I did this today and this old body I don't know how much more of this I can do uh, anyway you can see what they're working on here uh, this is the large uh, it's going to be a large galvanized section inside here. It's like about a 12 inch section that's going to go in here. Most of the other ones are about an 8 inch. Uh, this one inside here, this one here, and the one at the top of the driveway. Uh, I want to get that. I won't feel comfortable until we have our drains completed and installed. Wait, here in the back of the truck, uh, 4 inch concrete hollow blocks for the planters, uh, the rock, the pebble rock, uh, for more of the retaining wall topper and some rebar i needed to pick up some rebar this is two 20 20 foot sections of 10 mm and that's all you need the 10 mm works fine on small projects like retaining walls planters and things like that anytime when you start doing structure uh up in that area and you you might go most of the time the biggest you use is 16 mm uh, but in villa Feliz we use 20 mm uh, because the additional uh, pressure that's being put on the basement. So on the outside of the house, our carpenter uh, did some of the, the trim work. You see the trim work? He did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight. I think eight is the magic number. It seems like uh, eight. He does eight a day. So we have that. So we're working on that. Once we get all of that all the way around the house, uh, they'll do the, the, uh, the base painting coat on that and then I have to select the paint to go on there I kind of think if I, I wasn't gonna think I thought black would be terrible but now I'm thinking black here and black here as an accent that might actually look good or we might use a dark brown a darker brown on here I don't know the color yet we have to I have to pick up a sample uh, maybe tomorrow well, let's go inside the house. I haven't been inside either one of the CRs today to see how much advances that we had on the tiling inside those areas. It kind of scares me because yesterday I didn't go inside there. Uh, the day before I went, I kept looking. We had a lot of work that was done. Yesterday I didn't go because I was working out here on the grass blocks in the driveway. And when I went back, there was very little done. So I think maybe I should be popping my head in a little bit more, uh, more often. But let's go ahead and see what was done. We're going to start with the the CR on the first floor. Well, let's see. Remember, yesterday there was like two tiles missing. Well, now those two tiles are filled in and it's still missing one little one there. Um, all this was done. So I think the only thing was done today is and this was done yesterday uh, those two tiles are the only thing but i can see right now what they spent most of the day is they were leveling this area for the tiles for the uh, mosaic tiles that are going to go remember this was so out of whack it was out of level it was uh it was it was just absolutely horrible and that probably took them all day 
to get this where it's level going up that way, level this way, so it's in preparation for the mosaic. So I, uh, I, I think it, that would take most of most of the afternoon, most of the day to do that. So uh, that's what we got done on the CR on the first floor. And the ironworks team, the ironworks team put in the railing, uh, all the ironworks for this set of steps from the platform going up to the upper deck platform on the second floor. Uh, I understand they still ha haven't done any of the sports that go to the bottom, the ones that go through the three sections on each set of steps. So they'll be working on that probably Monday. So let's see if anything was accomplished in this room and this CR up on the second floor today. That was all done yesterday. This was all done. So it doesn't look like it uh, doesn't look like anything was done here. So I'm going to make the assumption uh, that the, the worker that was working inside here assisted the uh, other worker, the tile that was in the, in the first floor uh, CR. They were both working together in tandem to finish it off that roofing area. Um, oh no, something did get done inside here. The base. The base wasn't done, I don't believe, because uh, that one where it connects to the the angle valve, that, that wasn't there before, before. And I saw him actually drilling that out today. So, a few tiles, a few tiles accomplished in here today. Oh, hey, buddy. Good. <laughs> well, anyway, here it is, the end, the end, end of the work week, and uh, the end of the day and the end of the work week here at Villa Fleas. And uh, tomorrow might be a work day, I'm not sure. Uh, but we, we're gonna have to close for the day. I need to get this edited and I needed to get uploaded and I need to get a shower because working with all those grass blocks today, uh, I'm, I'm sweating a lot and uh, uh, it is time for the shower. So anyway, before I do uh, close for today, I have a couple of shout outs and one is a belated birthday shout out. And bir belated birthday shout out is for yesterday, which was March 23rd. And that is for one of our long time subscribers, Larry Winkle. And also for today, March 23rd, 24th, uh, Ronalee, Ronalee uh, Ortega's husband, Alexander, he is turning 31 today. And Ronalee said she wanted to make sure we do a big shout to some of her family, uh, the Ortega and the Limbo family, who are now living in Milan, Italy. So anyway, to uh, Alexander and Larry, we want to wish you both a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up, please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little MyPI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen over there. Uh, you will be subscribed and you will be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until tomorrow, you have a wonderful and blessed weekend.